What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Realms of Metal. Eddie here, back with you from you know where, the happiest place on earth, my metal room here in the woods in PA. What is going on, man? It is Sunday. We're going to do a quick uh, Realms of Rock store update today. Got some new vinyls and stuff uh, in, in the web shop. So uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. We'll get right at it. Um, some of these are new to the site. Some of them are restocks. So, uh, and I got some used ones in here too that I, that I, that I got. So, um, a couple of CDs, we got the nine inch nails broken EP. This was what released in 1992. You know, I think most metal heads that you'll find, you know, probably listen to nine inch nails. Most metal head friends that I have do, and, uh, they're a, a band that I listen to and, uh, you know, I dig them a lot. I have all their stuff. We've got the first Dangerous Toys record on CD, self-titled, a favorite of mine, always been, you know, it's just uh, sleazy, southern, hard rock, you know, done the right way, and I love this record, and uh, we had a couple of these up in the, in, on the site right now, too, so Dangerous Toys, self-titled. about this one this was a used one i found really good shape um bolt throwers in battle there is no law uh this came out what 1988 it, it's a black vinyl it's a gatefold uh, it's in really nice shape bolt thrower we've got um a couple of pantera records Cowboys from Hell. Cowboys from Hell was what 1990. It was the, their fifth full length at the time. You know, me being a kid, getting this on CD, I always thought this was Pantera's first record. I got it from uh, like Columbia House. Remember, you can go, you can order from Columbia House and get like 12 CDs for you know a penny or whatever the fuck it was. But that's how I got Cowboys from Hell back in the day, and it was the first time I just bought it on a whim. You know how you get like peel the stamps out and then lick them and then put them on the envelope or the thing the cds that you wanted like that i remember doing that with this record so uh but yeah cowboys from hell uh great record like i said it's their that was their fifth full length from 1990 i had no idea they had you know a back catalog you know past the, before this until years later actually but uh here you go and we got the one that came after that everybody knows about too that's vulgar display of power this came out in 1992 another beast of a record you know i remember uh like the headbangers ball i mean you know mouth for war was always on every fucking weekend that that video was on mouth for war so but great record i you know i'm not the biggest pantera fan in the world but i take nothing away from them especially with these two records We've got SODs, Speak English or Die, back in stock. This is the 30th anniversary edition. It's a gatefold, uh, beautifully done. It's got bonus tracks on it, double vinyl, live stuff. This was originally released in 1985, I think. You know, just one of those records everybody needs to own. We've got Megadeth's Dystopia from 2016. This was their what fifteenth full length at the time, so this is a this is a strong modern Megadeth record, man. It really is. Check it out, man. I I love the title track on this one. Threat is real. I love Dystopia. Such a good song. Fatal Illusion is really good. Post American World is really good. Uh, Conquer or Die, Lying in State, just a solid record front to back. We got a couple of these in stock. I actually got requests to get a couple more of these in. And this is uh, MOD's USA for MOD. This is another 30th anniversary edition. It's a gatefold. And uh, like this originally came out, what, MOD? This came out in 1987. So this reissue came out a few years ago. It was like a 2017 reissue, I think, for 30th anniversary. But you know, they, I was able to get my hands on a few more of these. And it's such an important record. It's such a fun record. You know, and I I think I like this better than Speak English or Die. I mean, they're very similar records, but I think I prefer this one in all honesty. I just like this. They're both amazing. 
I just prefer this one a little bit more, you know. Um, this is uh, the first time on vinyl ever, Confusion and Your Ex, which was a, the Faith cover on vinyl. So that's what you're going to get on this one. Love it, man. M.O.D. Here's a new release for you. This is the newest Evil Dead record, Toxic Grace. Uh, I listened to this one. I dig it a lot. I wanted to get a couple of these for the store. Um, you know, this just came out. It's a 2024 release. You know, thrash metal from, I think they're California. So. We got some old overkills uh, back in stock. We've got the Fuck You EP. This is the Fuck You and then some. It's got bonus stuff on it. This has uh, three tracks from the original Overkill, keep, Overkill EP from 1985, which is Fatal If Swallowed, The Answer, and Overkill. So they're all on here. It's a double vinyl. And um, it doesn't say it on here, but I have a copy of this also. It's like a green splatter vinyl, uh, double vinyl, really, really neat. It's not a gatefold, but uh, if you don't have this EP, it's one that you have to have. And, you know, you got your studio uh, version of Fuck You. You got, you know, some live tracks, Rotten to the Core, Hammerhead, Use Your Head, Electro Violence, Hole in the Sky, Sabbath Cover, Evil Never Dies Live, you know, Electro Violence Live. So, legendary. Here's uh, Overkill's The Years of Decay. This came out in, what, 1989. A favorite record of mine. Man, it was a staple of my teenage years. All these Overkill records were staples of my teenage years, pretty much. This is a really nice reissue, though. Uh, has Speed Mastered and pressed on red marble vinyl. See that? So, damn. Man, fuck. Everything on here is, you know, 10 out of 10. Pretty much time to kill elimination. I hate, you know, I hate people that make you feel small. Nothing to die for. Playing with Spider, Skull Crusher, Birth of Tension. Living with the tension, tension, tension. Oh, so good. Who tends the fire? Years of Decay, the ballady track, uh, Evil Never Dies. Man, so good. And uh, I got my favorite Overkill record back in stock, which is Under the Influence. Uh, this came out in 1988. I love everything about this record. This is uh, Half Speed Mastered and Pressed on Yellow Marble. See that there? There's the hype sticker. I like this record a little bit more than Years of Decay, and only because I feel like it has more of a, an aggressive edge to it than Years of Decay did, but... Uh, I love them both. I like this one just a little bit more. I mean, fucking shred. Never say never. Underrated. Hello from the gutter. Mad Gone World. Underrated. Brain fade. Take a minute to think. Uh, underrated. You know, drunken wisdom. End of the line. Man. Head first. But I got a nickel that says you will. Overkill three. Under the influence. Man, how great. Oh, so good. You know you need this for your collection, but you probably already got it. But if you don't, I got it up in the web shop. Uh, last but not least from Overkill's Horoscope. Horoscope was 1991. This is classic album, Half Speed Master, and pressed on Blue Marble. There's your hype sticker. Band photo. Another classic record. Oh, let's go to some really classic here. This is the first Merciful Fate EP. Everybody calls this Nuns Have No Fun. It was released in 1982. And uh, it's a legendary EP. In my opinion, one of the best metal EPs ever released. You've got, you know, Corpse Without Soul, Nuns Have No Fun, Doomed by the Living Dead, and Devil Eyes, man. That band, those band pictures, man. Oh. I know we have a lot of Merciful Fate and King Diamond fans out there, and I'm one as well. And uh, can't go wrong with anything Merciful Fate, King Diamond in my book. So, 
And speaking of King Diamond, we got a bunch of classic King Diamonds in stock for the first time here at the Realms of Rock. They're records that I wanted to get on the site. And uh, first off, we'll start with the eye. King Diamond's the eye. Uh, this came out, what, 1990? Uh, brilliant record. It says purple and black marble. And just, you know, Eye of the Witch, The Trial, Burn, Two Little Girls, Into the Convent, Father Picard is 10 out of 10, Behind These Walls, another 10 out of 10, The Meetings, Insanity is the uh, instrumental, beautiful instrumental, like, whoa, what a record this is, man, King Diamond, more King Diamond, here's uh, the first King Diamond, uh, Fatal Portrait from 1986, this came out. Solid as fuck record. I remember buying this on vinyl as a teenager in a, in a used record shop. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. The candle, the Jonah, the portrait, dressed in white, Charon, lurking in the dark, Halloween, voices from the past and haunted. Can't beat it, man. Fatal portrait, King Diamond. And here we got Conspiracy, 1989. Two of the best tracks King Diamond ever wrote were the number one and number two tracks on this, which is At the Graves and Sleepless Nights. I mean, pff. such an amazing record. Lies, A Visit from the Dead, The Wedding Dream, Amon Belongs to Them, Something Weird, Victimized, Let It Be Done, Cremation. This is listed as 180 gram black vinyl. Up live in the shop. I got a little punk rock. Bad Religion Suffer. Uh, an another absolute favorite of mine. This came out, what, 1988? It was their third full length. Uh, one of those most legendary punk records for me ever. You know, it's probably in my top three punk records of my most favorite punk records and you know you can't go wrong with any of the early bad religion stuff you know into the unknown you know probably you'll probably don't need that one but uh when it comes to like you know suffer no control against the grain how could hell be any worse i mean th those are records you all have to have what's up kid you got my little cat down here so she's looking for attention uh how many great songs are on this one man you are the government uh fucking creator covered that uh thousand more fools how much is enough when give you nothing you know suffer do what you want like oh so good you know if you're not into bad religion do yourself a favor and pick this one up you're gonna be an instant fan i'm telling you and to round it out we've got a couple of metallica restocks We've got, you know, Ride the Lightning back in stock in 1984. This was uh, remastered for the first time. It says number one thrash metal album of all time. You know, it's good. It wouldn't be my number one of all time, but it might be yours. Uh, featuring For Whom the Bell Tolls, Fade to Black and Creeping Death. There you go. Everybody knows this record. And last but not least, a uh, record nobody's ever heard of. It's this black album that sold a few copies apparently at some point. Some some people like it. I I don't you know. But the uh, kidding aside, uh the, the the black album, Metallica self titled, this is what, nineteen ninety one. Um right, it was nineteen ninety one, right? I don't fucking know. I think so. Anyway, you know, enter Sandman, sad but true, holier than now. Unforgiven, wherever I may roam, don't tread on me through the never. Nothing else matters, a wolf and man. God that failed, my friend, the misery is struggle within. It is not a gatefold, but it is, it is a double vinyl. So here you go. That's what we got. Uh, you know, restocks for the store, new additions to the store, we got vinyl. We got a few CDs here. Um, so check them out, realmsofrock.squarespace.com. And while you're on there, be sure to check out that Vincent Crowley section, man. If you don't know, 
you know, Realms of Rock, we partnered with Vincent Crowley on his merch. We're the official place to get his merch. We have a whole section dedicated to him. We've got new stuff coming in. We already sold a bunch of it. You know, we've got, you know, we got vinyls. We've got, you know, CDs. Some of the CDs are actually autographed by Vincent. We've got cassettes. We've got T-shirts. We've got this uh, Beyond Asheron shirt in there in all sizes. Uh, plenty of T-shirts. Uh, the What Get Your Goat T-shirts from his YouTube channel. We've got banners. we got all kinds of stuff, man. So go on there and check that out and uh, support Vincent Crowley, man. And uh, any questions on the site, if you're looking for me to get something that maybe we don't have on the site, hit me up on the site through an email. I'll, see, I'll do my best to get it for you. And uh, you know, thanks for hanging out with me on a Sunday. And uh, I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a, a killer week coming up.